Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am very excited to be doing another collaboration with my friend Anuka from Anuka Fluid Art Design. Um, she and I do, are doing a tree swipe collab. And um, I haven't done this on my channel yet. I, and it's been a couple of years since I've even attempted it. So I'm excited to see if I still remember what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I've watched a couple of videos. In fact, one of my favorite videos uh, for this technique is uh, one from a year or two ago from Meta Pores. I'm going to link that in the uh, video description below. I think you should definitely watch that video. Her color scheme is gorgeous and mine is actually kind of similar. So let me walk you through this here. So my base coat actually is a, going to be a dark color. This is a mix of Amsterdam's uh, greenish blue and um, phthalo blue. So it looks kind of like a bright blue at the moment, but it will dry very dark. Um, and because uh, all of the Amsterdam blues are either transparent or semi-transparent, I have gone ahead and painted the sides of my canvas and a little bit around the, uh, the top edge uh, because as the paint rolls over itself, it gets very thin on the edges and with a transparent base, that um, canvas can show through on the sides. So that should um, solve that problem. Um, and then I, my swipe colors, I have DecoArt um, Extreme Sheen Copper. I have DecoArt Americana Metallics 24 Karat Gold. I have Amsterdam Pearl White. And I have Artist Loft uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue, which is a gorgeous color. And then I have Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. So uh, I have a couple of swiping tools here. Once I put my base coat down, then I will put these colors straight down the middle here and I will swipe out to the edges. I've got a couple of different sizes because um, I, I like to, I don't want it necessarily uh, the same and matching swipes on each side. I want to kind of vary the, the texture on the sides uh, and the motion. Um, and uh, I also have for the tree swipe, I have several uh, palette knives, a popsicle stick, some skewers, my snack stick. I'm going to use those to create some definition in the tree. So um, I am going to go ahead and put my, down my base coat. Um, swiping is a very calming kind of meditative process. So uh, as I go through this, I will show you the swipe in real time for a couple of swipes. And then I will probably, cause it is it's slow and steady is the rule. So you want to swipe super slow. But um, to keep this video from being an hour long, <laughs> I will probably speed up uh, quite a few of the parts on this. So um, uh, all of the details and the full written tutorial will also be in the video description below. And okay, let's go ahead and get started.
Crazy, don't know what to do. My heart is screaming for you, babe. And what I'm trying to say is, that you make the sky look blue, even when it is gray, babe. Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away. Your light is shining bright on me. Got no reason to be afraid. You're glowing in the dark. You're glowing. Dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing. In the dark.
Can't stop looking at ya. You. You're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the You're growing in the dark. You're growing in the dark. Growing in the dark. Growing in my heart. You're growing in the dark. Growing in the dark. Yeah, you're growing in the dark. You can make it go away. Growing in the dark. You can make it go away. You're growing in the dark. So here are the wet results of my tree swipe. I'll be honest, I was expecting a lot more copper. I put a lot of copper down and there is some, but I was expecting a lot more of it to show up in the swipe. Um, it's very subtle, but I think it's still really cool. Um, very ghostly kind of color scheme. Um, I love these cells that came up here and the, um, um, the darkness down here of the base coat coming through um, and the bark uh, or the main trunk, the swipes here are great. I really love all of the, the motion that it created. This is very subtle in through here. It's mainly just the, uh, the base coat blue coming through, but um, hopefully when it dries, it will be a little more contrasting. Uh, but I, the swipe itself is, Gorgeous, I love it. And the, the tree swipe, I think, worked out pretty good too. So I'm a little worried that there's still a little too much paint here in the center. But once you start uh, doing the tree swipe, there's no chance of um, tilting without completely ruining the composition. So let's see how this dries, but I hope you've enjoyed this so far and stay tuned for the dry result. So here we are outside for the dry results. I had to bring it outside because I wanted some natural sunlight on it. The, um, my studio just doesn't, uh, the lighting doesn't do it justice inside. Uh, but I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite things I have ever painted. Even though there are a couple of things I'm a little disappointed in. I really wanted more copper in here for the contrast on the trunk of the tree. And the whole time I was swiping that tree, I was on the hunt for more copper. I've never had it disappear on me like that before. Sorry, there's about a, a car about to go by. But that background swipe worked out perfectly. It gives that kind of moon glow look to it. Um, and there's so much that I love about it. The, the trunk here where that copper came through is spectacular. I love it. Um, and even this area over here where it's a little subtle, it makes sense because it's more dramatic back here. It looks like the, the moon is right behind the tree right there, I think. Um, so the composition just worked out perfectly. And uh, there are a couple of places where, remember I said I was a little worried about it cracking because there's a lot of paint in the middle? It did crack a little bit right there. But you know what? It doesn't detract from it at all. And it actually um, cracked down to the pearl white. Um, and then this spot right here cracked down to the, the copper that I was hunting for the whole time. <laughs> so you know what? It doesn't detract from it at all. I'm not sure whether I want to uh, varnish this piece 
or resonant. I think in resin, it might be spectacular. Oh, and I, I brought it outside so we could see that pearl white and the metallics just glow on that dark blue background. Can we get the, the sparkle of the, the copper and the gold in there? Oh, wow, I love it. I hope you like it too. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And coming up next is Anuka Fluid Art Design, who also did a tree swipe in this collab. And I've seen it already. It is spectacular. You're going to love it. I'll link uh, her video in the video description below, as well as the one that inspired this piece for me from Metapores. Um, and uh, the entire uh, full written tutorials in the description box also. So thanks again and come back and see me sometime.